So we took yesterday minus and subtract the sunshine that we had, and we have a gray day today. <laughs> yeah, you know, the temperatures are very comfortable. This is right where we should be for this time of year. It's mm -hmm. a little bit more humid. Right. I think we're feeling that, but it's all making way for some rain for tonight. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, we have, don't have a lot of rain, but we'll talk about that. We're starting with radar. Have a look. Cloud cover most of the day. We did see some early sunshine in the northern half, but beyond that, it's been mostly cloudy to overcast and recently starting to see a couple of these little raindrops across our southern couple rows of counties. And right now, looks like Marshall seeing a little bit of rain, soon to be Jackson any minute if you're not already. Nothing strong, no thunder or lightning. We have a few more firing up across northern Indiana. Can you see that at the bottom of your screen? I'll show you that in a moment. But a little bit of rain for the rest of your evening. Meanwhile, current temperature is still sitting in the 70s across the board. Mid and upper 70s north, low 70s south. Little bit of a range from north to south across mid Michigan today, mainly just because of that difference in cloud cover earlier on. We're starting to balance out now. Dew points in the 60s. It's going to make way for some rain for later on. We're still seeing it creeping very slowly into lower mid Michigan. And you see some of that across northern Indiana at last check. I didn't see any lightning being reported in that, but it still could result in some brief heavier rains as it moves across our viewing area. So yes, a few rain or thunder showers tonight. Top of your weather headlines. Chance for rain Wednesday morning. It's not looking impressive at all, but there is at least that chance. Could see a couple raindrops tomorrow morning. Beyond that, it's actually looking very nice. Sunny Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in this forecast. So sunny midweek to the rest of the end of the week. Weekend thunderstorms could be an issue for some of us. It's a busy weekend full of events. Hopefully they won't interfere too much, but we'll be tracking those. For tonight, it's run in the mill showers and storms. Nothing strong, but you could see something like this. You see some of the yellows and the oranges, maybe in a brief red spot. You see that there. While not widespread, most of this rain coverage is very spotty. There's at least a chance some of these could be heavier rains, small as they are, but still nothing strong or severe. Nothing like that. Might hear a few rumbles of thunder. That's primarily an evening affair. After midnight, it should give us a little bit of a break. And then into Wednesday morning comes your next chance for rain. I do emphasize chance. It looks very weak. There's a cold front coming through, but it doesn't have a lot of oomph to it. So it's just going to be passing through. Maybe kicks up a couple of raindrops, 8 to 11 a.m. window or so, and then it's gone. Sunny skies through lunchtime, afternoon, clear skies Wednesday night. This is a high pressure forecast, so more sunshine through Thursday and Thursday night. More sunshine into Friday's forecast. We have a great couple of days ahead of us, at least until we get to the weekend. That is very nice. Clear Friday, too. Mid 60s tonight, warm, humid, a few showers or thunderstorms in the mix. Again, that's mainly before midnight. Then tomorrow, near 80, upper 70s likely. Just a chance for some morning rain. It should otherwise be a nice and sunny day. Into that seven day forecast. About 80 by Thursday, mid 80s Friday, then mid and upper 80s Saturday to even low 90s Sunday. It will be a hot and humid weekend. Look at those overnight lows, barely drops below 70. So we have a lot of warm weather ahead of us, but after tonight's rain, a lot of sunshine too. Yeah, I mean, look at Sunday, 92 degrees. Yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. it's something to look at. Well, of course, thanks Dustin for all that.